Welcome to I Love Stocks. Today's video is going to be on Nile, so let's get right into it. I noticed that Nile closed its offering yesterday. Nile's a car company that's out of China. Their EV car business, I think we're bullish again. Motley Fool came out, made a fool of themselves, and downgraded it. it. Said making fun of Robin Hood traders. Well, I'm here to tell you different. I think we're going to start being bullish again on this stock. And we're going to see a little bit more volatility going up. So let's go ahead and Nile announces completion of offering of 68 million American depository shares. So this is going to be a good one to be watching today. And we're going to go right straight into the chart. I want to get this out of the way. I had some kind of funny looking flag right here. I don't know what you want to call it. But I'm going to call it, oh, I don't know. I'm going to call it bullish. <laughs> But we did pull back to a real solid support down here. That was when we had that nice little breakout. We've had, you know, bottoms down here quite a bit. And we did kind of have a higher low on that last one in the last three days. It's been kind of bullish off that support level under 40 bucks. We're up five now, so we've got a little pivot point area in this chart. And I'm going to magnify this up a little bit. And that's right around this 43.81. So I'm thinking we can pull back to that. Let's go ahead and look at the 20 day. I'll get a better vision of it on the 20 day. We did break resistance that I called in the last video that I did. I said if we did break out of this resistance here, we would become bullish and into the trade. And that's what we're doing right now. Right now we're breaking past that SMA on the 20 day. And that's the 200. So I think we can run this back up to resistance levels again. Up here right around 47, 30. Well, we got three resistance levels. 4573, 4703, and 4832. Now these lines right here is off of a method that I've uh, crystallized over many years. It's called the extended trend line method. And I can use these same trend lines over and over and over again. I can go back to two to three years, and I have gone back to five years using the same trend lines. But when they start to cloud up, I start to kind of clean them out and start fresh but for right now we'll just leave it the way it is we've got three support levels the support I do want to hold is that pivot point on the 20 day and that's going to be right around that 4381 if not we can have a knife something stupid happens it'll be back here at the 4082 4176 and 4294 but for right now let's see if we can break out of the channel and build this thing back up to hard resistance levels of 4573, 4703, and 4832. Again, I want to reiterate that I am getting bullish on this trade again from the pullback of the triple bottom that we had down here at 4082. Always remember, I love stocks. Please follow us, subscribe, ring that bell. If you have any comments, please make them. I'd like to know if you have some information that I'm leaving out. But we did close the offering price, and when I see a closing, that makes me bullish on the trade. I love stocks.